The next pose we're going to do is tree pose. So eventually our hands may come here, but let's start here. Standing on one leg, both hips even, don't let one hip drop. And just lift one foot off the floor. If you'd like, you can open your leg and put your foot on your inner calf. If you want, you can even bring your foot up a little higher. Put some pressure on your thigh and hands come together at your chest. Maybe they come over your head. Take a long breath in here. And breathe out. Let's do one more breath here. And as you breathe out, bring your hands down slowly. You can stay longer in that pose if you've got the balance today. Let your foot come down. Let's do the same thing on the second side. Keep your hips even. One foot lifts off the floor. If you stop here, that's great. Maybe even your toe is still touching the floor. Or you can put your foot on the inside of your calf or maybe lift it up higher. And bring your hands to a comfortable place. They can be out to the side, they can be touching at your heart, maybe over your head. Let's take two breaths here. Last big breath in. Good. And peacefully release from this pose. Let's bring our arms up high overhead and then swan dive to standing forward fold. Let your head and your arms get heavy, maybe even holding on to your own elbows. If it really hurts your low back, bend your knees a little. Take another big breath in here. And as you exhale, bring your hands close to the floor. Your knees start to bend. We're coming into squat. So knees are bending in the same direction as your feet. Heels stay on the floor. Maybe we stop partway. Maybe we go down even deeper. Maybe you use your elbows to push your knees out if that's comfortable. Hands can come to the floor. Chin can come to your chest. Take a couple of breaths here. If this is really uncomfortable for you, standing forward fold is good. Or anywhere in between. When you're ready, and you probably are, let's bring the seat to the floor, soles of the feet together for what's called Baddha Kung Asana. Some of us, our knees are always gonna be up high. Some of us can naturally bring our knees down lower. So wherever you are is fine. Hold on to your feet, not your toes. Maybe you can put your hands behind and push yourself so you're sitting up tall, and then let your knees drop open as far as they go. If you're very comfortable here, Try to keep as flat a spine as you can, and maybe you even fold forward a little bit. Take two more breaths. Good, when you're ready, inhale your head up, exhale your body up, and let's go into a seated wide leg forward fold. So for some of us, opening legs up wide is enough. If you are having a hard time sitting up straight, put your hands behind you and push yourself up tall, you can stay right here. Maybe you draw your toes in a little with just the muscles of your legs. If you're comfortable there, you can walk your hands out a little bit, go ahead. If this means curling down, I would rather you stay up tall. Walk your hands forward as far as is comfortable. Maybe your elbows come down. Maybe your face comes to the floor. Stay here for two or three breaths. One more breath in and breath out. Inhale, bring your head up first. Exhale, use the strength of your arms to walk your hands up. We're gonna to go to the side. So first, one hand, palm up, slides down your leg. Open up the other side of your chest and let your arm come to the sky and reach over. Maybe this hand grabs your foot. Maybe it lays on the floor. Maybe it's still up at your knee. So when you breathe in here, really feel your side ribs open. Big exhales. Be as long as you can. Big inhale here. Exhale. Use the strength of the bottom arm to push yourself up. Same thing for the second side. Top arm comes to the sky. Make it as long as you can and then bring it over. Nice long breath. Feel your rib cage open. Good. Let's take one more breath here. Good, exhale, use the strength of the bottom arm to push her up. And now we're gonna twist a little bit. So one hand comes to the opposite leg or floor. Try to bring your chest to be squared over that one leg and then fold forward. I like to grab the outside of my leg to get some leverage 
and then bringing my chest towards my knee rather than my forehead towards my thigh. Take two more deep breaths here. As far as you can go comfortably and still take a deep breath. Maybe one more breath. Good, inhale your head up, exhale, push yourself up. Take a moment in the middle and then move to the second side. This is gonna be different than the first side. Square your chest towards your other foot and then fold over this way. Good, hand on the outside of the leg for leverage. Let's take one more big breath here. Good, inhale your head up your body up and let's bring our legs into Sukhasana. So lay one leg down first and then the other ankle in front. Then we're going to take one hand to the outside of the opposite knee. Make a tall spine, exhale and then twist. It's a gentle twist. Take two big breaths here. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in again. Big breath out. Inhale your head to the front, exhale your body. Take a breath in the middle. Same thing, other side, opposite hand. Tall spine, exhale, twist. Now breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Full breath out. Let's take one more breath on this side. Good, on your next inhale, your head comes to the front, exhale, your body comes to the front. Fold forward, trying to keep your seat on the floor. Maybe you can only go a little ways. Maybe you can go a little farther. Breathe in here. And exhale, forehead toward the floor as low as you can go. Good, when your next breath comes, inhale, come all the way up. Let's balance just for a moment just for a moment in boat pose. And then cross your ankle the other way. So the awkward ankle comes down first, the other one is in front, and let's fold forward again. This is opening up our hips. Take two more deep, long breaths in. Try to get as long and as heavy as you can. Last big breath here. Full exhale. Inhale your head up, exhale your body up. We're almost done. We're gonna do bridge pose next. If you don't know what this is, stay watching first and then try it. So we're going to lie down, heels next to rear end, and push your hips up. Do not look to the sides when you're in a pose like this. So to get into it, lie down, put your feet flat on the floor, your knees to the sky, walk your heels as close to your own rear end as you can. Palms can be flat on the floor. And then use the strength of your thighs to push your hips up. If it hurts your neck, bring your hips back down. Otherwise, leave your hips up in a modified back bend. And maybe you walk your shoulders underneath, clasp your hands underneath your body, and maybe push your fist of hands into the floor. Good. Long breath in. Come down whenever you want. So let's take one more breath here. And when you're ready, if your shoulders are rolled, unroll them, slowly come down. We always do a forward fold after a backward bend. So draw your knees into your chest. If it feels good, bring your feet to the sky. Hold on to your own feet and draw your knees towards the floor near your armpits. You can rock from side to side a little bit. here, let's just lie flat on the back for Shavasana. So that is lying flat on your back with your feet flopping open, your arms a comfortable distance away from your body, palms facing the sky, eyes closed, relax completely. Feel the skin and the muscles of your face get heavy and relaxed. Feel your head get heavy. Be aware of your throat and your neck and let that relax as well. Let's 
feel the skin and the muscles of your chest and your shoulders. Let them grow a little bit heavier. Be aware of your right arm and how now it relaxes as you exhale. It gets warm and a little heavy. Now your left arm, bring your awareness there and let that sink into the earth. Get heavy. Be aware of your lungs and your ribs, your belly, your intestines, your upper, mid, and low back, your whole torso. Feel it grow a little warm and relaxed. Your hips, your thighs, both knees, both calves and shins, your heels and feet grow heavy and warm and sink in. Relax completely. Stay here for as long as you'd like. When the time comes, maybe five minutes from now, to bring yourself back to movement, start with your hands and your feet, rolling your small joints and then your bigger joints, eventually drawing your arms and your legs into your core. Maybe stretch your arms up over your head, maybe stretch your whole body long, and then roll to your right side, rest, and eventually come up to sitting. And we always take a moment of gratitude to enjoy the peace that we have and gratitude for our strong bodies, our strong limbs, the fact that we can move our arms and our legs, strong spine, a clear mind, hands, eyes, and breath. Take a moment and close your eyes. Be grateful for your strength. clean water, for breath, and think of one way that you can use this strong body to ease the burden of another. We are all part of the same world. We are all connected. We are all good. Namaste.